the morning after the worst day in Highland Park history. It definitely was, uh, as you know, it's like a traumatic experience. 41-year-old father of twins, Dave Podacek, stood in his driveway. I think a lot of people just in the neighborhood, we couldn't go back to work. We just kind of took the day off and um, everyone was just kind of standing out in their yards and people were kind of congregating in like my driveway. As the neighbors talked about what they had witnessed at the parade. And then everybody just started screaming and running. And all of a sudden we just saw the stampede and you know, police telling us to hide. They were searching for a way to move forward. As we're in their driveway and like, I think I just got a basketball hoop in my driveway and it's like, we should start playing basketball. It started with a couple of Highland Park dads playing pickup games. And that was all they needed to get the ball rolling. It started out as five individuals for a few weeks and it kind of grew to like eight, and then 12, and now we have like 40 people. The idea of bonding through basketball was a slam dunk. That's just kind of how this whole thing evolved was just a bunch of us kind of shooting hoops, you know, kind of talking about everything that happened. It kind of morphed into people bringing more people to this group. 46-year-old father of two, Ron Twazen. We're out here just getting our cardio in. Plays in the group's weekly games at a gym in neighboring Highwood, where there's no dunking allowed. It's as much of a rule as it is a raz for a group that knows its physical limitations. As I look, you know, yes, they're dad bods. <laughs> they call themselves the dad bods. We're all a bunch of weekend warriors here, I guess. Ball's in. Most are over 40. One of the things that we always talk about right before we play is we just hope nobody gets injured. In addition to the squeaking, there's some creaking dad bods held together with knee braces and athletic tape. And so far, I think we had a couple of broken fingers and uh, maybe like a calf, something with a calf. Even when they don't score, we score yet? they're making a point. Oh man. This was a really good outlet for everything that kind of happened. You know, a lot of people were getting over some trauma from that. The therapeutic basketball caught the attention of Butterball. Yes, Butterball the iconic turkey brand. We're really here to celebrate the dad bods. The company surprised the team on Tuesday and donated $15,000 to the Highland Park Community Foundation. Thank you so much for all that you've done for your community. Money that will help the ongoing needs of those affected by the shooting. It is really uplifting to our community and that's what this is all about. All on behalf of the dad bods. And when we heard the dad bods story, we just really felt like we wanted to recognize them and the way that they pulled their community together after the tragedy last year. The ripple effect. Um, you start one little thing and then it grows and it grows into something bigger than you ever possibly could have imagined. One year after its worst day, thanks in part to the dad bods, Highland Park is a community on the rebound. Good rebound. So it's just little simple things, having fun, positivity can make a huge difference. In Highland Park, Mike Lowe, WGN News.